Hi. Hi, welcome Holly. What is that? I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Is it big? <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> I'm Bill Chabonet, founder of Large Sense. We make large format digital cameras. The LS911 is our first model. Hi, I'm Holly, here to demonstrate how this camera works. I just graduated with a bachelor's in film, but I have never seen anything like this before in my life, so this should be fun. So this is a bellow focusing camera, so it needs a rail. Just put it in there, and then you lock it. So this is a Sinar front standard adapted to the large sense camera. So these are the bellows. it into place. And attach it to the Sinar front standard. So this is the Schneider G Claron 305mm lens. Uh oh. <laughs> How did you get that in there? So I just put on the Schneider 305mm um, lens all by myself. Yeah. Now we remove the dark slide that protects the sensor. very slowly and carefully. So now we plug it in, give it power, and then we put the memory card into the access panel. So we just inserted a memory card, um, but internally the camera can actually store 900 gigabytes of data. And we are using a UV IR blocking filter. and it's a shot BG38. Now we power on the camera. Now the camera's loading. Um, now that the camera's loaded, uh, the back screen can actually show us the Wi-Fi passwords. Now we put the pocket wizard on top and turn it on on the side. So the camera is Wi-Fi controlled, so any notebook or tablet can connect to it and I'm going to log into the Wi-Fi right now. So it also works with Android tablets like this one. Now that we're already connected to the Wi-Fi, we're gonna go ahead and use the Google Chrome browser to connect to the camera. What does the fox say? Ring -a -ding 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 -ding. <laughs> so I've got our special guest here, Socks the Fox, and to focus, you're gonna go to live view and hit live. There he is. So all the devices update at the same time, and as you can see, the fox is a little too low in the frame. So we're gonna go ahead and lower the camera now. So this stand allows this camera to rise and tilt, and so now we're going to lower the camera so we can get the fox in the frame. And the fox is coming into the frame. So now that we're in live view, we're gonna go ahead and go to full screen so we can focus. Tap once for 100%, tap twice for 400%, and uh, you can actually move the fox around, and we wanna try to focus on the fox's eyes. So now I watch the screen as I move the lens carefully back and forth, and try to get those eyes into focus. Now it looks like it's in focus. So now we need to take a dark calibration frame and uh, lenses with shutters, you can just go ahead and close them. And then take dark. So it takes 10 dark frames and averages the noise. And this dark frame looks good. 
So now we're going to take a flat field calibration and that helps remove dust from the sensor and also helps correct vignetting on various lenses. So to do a flat field calibration, we need an evenly illuminated light surface. And this one right here can actually be adjusted. So you can also do this with a tablet, but it's not as bright for lenses that are stopped down. So we turn on the light at a low setting and then we hit take FFC and then hold it up to the lens. Oops, <laughs> we forgot to open the lens. So, rookie mistake. <laughs> okay. okay, so turn the light on to a low setting. Hit FFC on the tablet and then you put it up to the lens. And this is too bright. So now we're gonna try using the tablet to adjust the FFC. So I'm gonna set it to the highest it can go. Click the green button and hold it up to the lens. And that looks like it was a good flat field calibration. Now we're ready to take the picture. Now we're going to take a picture. Socks is very photogenic. <laughs> okay, here's the fox picture. Oh, that's a nice looking fox. But first, let me take a selfie. Another selfie. I like the other one better. <laughs> now, Socks and I are going to take a selfie. Oh my gosh, you look so good! <laughs> save them to my phone. So this stand was especially made for the LS911. It has tilt and rise and wheels on it so you can easily move around the studio. I'll try to go up. I'm gonna do some tilt. Just tilt back. Now we're gonna go down. Large Sense, large format single shot digital cameras and backs.